Ecologists from Mexico's National Autonomous University very recently relaunched a fundraising campaign to further enhance conservation efforts for axolotls, a native endangered fish-like type of salamander. The campaign, labelled as Adopt Axolotl, asks people for as little as 600 pesos, which is roughly 35 US dollars, to virtually adopt one of these tiny little water monsters. Your virtual adoption comes equipped with live updates on your axolotl's health. If funds are an issue, donors can buy a virtual dinner for one of the creatures instead, which are relatively popular pets in the United States. In the Mexican axolotl's main habitat location, the population density has literally plummeted by 99.5% in under 20 years, according to the scientists driving the efforts to save the axolotl. Last year's Adopt Axolotl campaign raised just more than 450,000 pesos towards an experimental captive breeding program, including efforts to restore habitat in the ancient Aztec canals of Xochimilico, a southern borough of Mexico City. Still, there are not enough resources for thorough research, stated Alexandro Calzada, an ecological scientist surveying less well-known species of axolotls for the government's environment department. We lack big monitoring of all the streams in Mexico City, let alone the whole country, said Calzada, who leads a small team of nine researchers. For this large area, it is not enough. Despite the creature's recent rise to popularity, most all 18 species of axolotl in Mexico remain critically endangered, threatened by encroaching water pollution, a deadly amphibian fungus and non-native rainbow trout. Their odds of survival are certainly not the best. Scientists could once find 6,000 axolotls on average per square kilometre in Mexico, but a similar area will now only boast 36, according to the National Autonomous University's latest census. A more recent international study found less than 1,000 Mexican axolotls left in the wild, a truly alarming number. Luis Zambrano Gonzalez, one of the university's scientists announcing the renewed fundraiser, told the Associated Press that he hopes to begin a new census, being the first since 2014 in March 2024. There is no more time for Zoxomilico, fears Zambrano. The invasion of pollution is very strong. Soccer fields, floating dens, it is very sad. Without better statistics on the number and distribution of different axolotl species in Mexico, it is almost impossible to gauge how long the creatures have left and where to prioritise what resources there are available. What I know is that we have to work urgently, Calzada said. Axolotls have grown into a cultural icon in Mexico for their unique, slimy appearance and uncanny ability to regrow limbs. Scientists in laboratories around the world feel this healing power could hold the secret to tissue repair and even cancer recovery, so I think we can all understand how important that could be. In the past, government conservation programs have largely focused on the most popular species, the Mexican axolotl, found in Zoxomilico. But other species can be found across the country too, from tiny streams in the Valley of Mexico to the reaches of the northern Sonora Desert. Mexico City's expanding urbanization has sadly damaged the water quality of the canals, while in lakes around the capital, rainbow trout, which sometimes are known to escape from farms, can displace axolotls and eat their food. Calzada said his team is seeing a vast increase in the number of axolotls dying from a citride fungus, which is a skin-eating disease causing catastrophic amphibian die-offs all the way from Europe to Australia. While academics rely on donations and Calzada's team turn to a collection of volunteers, the Mexican government recently legislated on an 11% funding cut for its environment department, which is disastrous. Over its six-year term, the administration of President André Manuel López Obrador will have given 35% less money to the country's Environment Department 
than its predecessor, according to analysis of Mexico's 2024 budget. So it would appear that the more this sad story appears on the world stage in order to highlight the plight of this critically endangered creature, the better. <laughs>